Welcome LEGO fans, I'm Holger, the Austrian brick fan from Carinthia in Austria and today with a very special video because I have asked you to choose your personally favorite set of the year 2023. So first of all, thank you for your participation in this polls. I did via the community tab on my channel and now I decided to do a video to go through these steps you have chosen your set for 2023. So let's start. I tried to um, do all theme based. So we started the first poll was um, 15 years stands 15 themes, but it was 16 or 17. And uh, from the bigger themes like Star Wars, City and so on, you have uh, the choice through four different sets. So here we have Star Wars and I decided to take this for participants and I would choose the Venator. And this is also the one who have won this first poll. So let us move forward. Lego City, the Fire Command Truck Downtown Arctic Research Ship Passenger Airplane. So this for me is a really hard decision because I, I really like all of this. But because Downtown is the biggest city set so far, I would choose Downtown. And this is the same you have done. And next, Technic. The firefighter airplane, the John Deere Skitter, the snow groomer is the small 10 euro set I really like. And of course the Leaper Crawler Crane. And this is definitely my favorite and you choose the same. Then we went to Disney. The new Disney castle, the enchanted treehouse, the royal clamshell from Ariel, which is a really great set I think. And Peter Pan and Wendy's Flight Over London. And I would choose, of course, I have not built it yet, but I like the old one and the, the new one should be better, improved building techniques and so on. And clearly with 86% you have chosen the same. Then we move forward to icons and icons, I think, was a really hard decision because there are so many great sets in the year 2023. So the Pac-Man card was really great. The El Dorado Fortress was great. The Concorde was mind blowing in my eyes and Rivendell. And the decision was really clear. Maybe I would choose the Pac-Man, but Rivendell has won clearly with 67%. Then we come to France. Very cool sets this year from France. The Botanical Garden, the Community Center, the Downtown Flower and Design Store and the Beach Amusement Park was, was the most technically French sets ever. And that's the reason why it's, it's my favorite. But you decided to choose the Botanical Garden relatively clearly again with 66%. That was surprising for me, to be honest. Then we move forward to Marvel and I think it does not matter which um, opponents I would have chosen. The Avengers Tower was the clear winner, 81%. Then in this case, because of Jer um, Indiana Jones, we have only three sets and some sets from Super Mario. I decided to put both in one pole and I think this was also a clear decision. Temple of the Golden Isle, yes, 78%. Then Ninjago. Zora's Mech Bike Racer. I really like Ninjago City Markets, the Destiny's Bounties, Zane's Ice Dragon Creature. But I think the same as before. It does not matter which opponents um, we, s we put here. The Ninjago City Markets will win every poll, I think. So it is 76%. And then Minecraft. Minecraft, I think, was not so clear. Um, I maybe would choose the Iron Golem Fortress, but the Deep Dark Battle has won. Clear again with 66%. This was another result I did not expect it in this way. And then 
the Jurassic World poll. In this case, I think it was again relative clearly because this Brachiosaurus figure is so cool that this one will win, I thought. And let us see, I was right. 58%, the second one was the Visitor Center, the T-Rex and Raptor. Uh, I was not, not sure what the complete name of this uh, set was. Then we come to Batman. Normally it's DC, of course, but there were no other sets than Batman sets in 2023. And I thought this could be a hard decision between those three, because all of these three are really great. But normally the Batcave must do it. And so it is, 54%. And then we come to creator. And for me, the space roller coaster is my favorite, but you choose the main street. This is also a set I own, but have not built yet. And then Harry Potter, the Hogwarts Express and Hogsmeade Station, the Gringotts Wizarding Bang, Hogwarts Castle and Grounds, Expecto Patronum. For me, of course, I haven't built it yet. The Gringotts Bank was my favorite. But you decided to choose the Hogwarts Castle and Grounds. And then we came to Dreams. And I think this is again a very uh, easy decision because the Nightmare Shark Ship is so much, so good from the optics and so on. But I thought that Mrs. Castillo's Turtle Van could maybe do it because the van. Uh, without these extra things on it looks really cool and it was only third with 11% the Mr. Oz space bus has defeated him but the nightmare shark ship was clearly number one and then we come to monkey kit and I like Max so the monkey kit ultra mech was my first decision I have not built it yet but I have the old one built this is a, a re a redone set, I think, and use choosing the same 64%. And this was the first round is done. And now I tried to uh, put similar themes together. So in this case, city and friends. Of course, creator is also uh, very comparable in this uh, thing. But from crea creator, there are also sets that are not comparable to City. That's why I decided to do, um, put France and City in this poll. And the Botanical Garden versus Downtown are the two winners. And I think Downtown will do it. You decided the same. Then Monkey Kid and Ninjago are, of course, very similar. So I put this two but I think the Ninjago City Markets will win it. Yes, clearly, 88%. And then, Dreams and Indiana Jones. Hmm. Hmm. I think Indiana Jones will win. So it is, 75%. Clearly, clear decision. And then I put together Creator and Minecraft and the Deep Dark Battle, Main Street, Hard Decision. Hmm. I would choose Minecraft. Ooh, Main Street has won. Then Lego Technique and uh, Lord of the Rings. Of course, uh, those two are not really comparable, but it was hard to, to choose two themes um, to put together. So I think the Crawler Crane is a great set, but I think Rivendell will do it. So it is 81%. And then Two IP themes, Jurassic World and Star Wars. In this case, I think Star Wars will win clearly. So it is, 82%. And then the Battle of the Titans, DC versus Marvel. Um, this, <laughs> no, would be a great thing. But I don't want to maybe take a decision early between two major IP themes from LEGO. So I decided to separate them. In this case, uh, I decided to do Batman against Harry Potter. And I think the Batcave will win. Oh, no, Hogwarts Castle has won. And then 
I put this two together because they are really comparable from the size and price, the Avengers Tower and the Disney Castle. Of course, the Disney Castle is great, but I think the Avengers Tower will win. So it is 81%. And then it's time for the quarterfinals. In the round of the last, uh, last 16, the Main Street has won and Downtown has won against his opponents. In this case, I think Downtown will win. Yes, so it is. Rivendell against Ninjago City Markets. No key decision. I would choose Ninjago City Markets, but Rivendell has done it only 58 to 42. I can remember watching this poll. It was a long time, 50-50. And then Rivendell has uh, got the advantage. And then Marvel against Harry Potter. I think the Avengers Tower will win. So it is. And the Temple of the Golden Idol against the Venator. I think the Venator will do it. So it is. Then I made an advertisement to my uh, review channel. Maybe you can check it out. I will put it in the info box. And then half finals. Only four set left. Downtown, Rivendell, Venator and the Avengers Tower. Which two will do it in the finals? I think the Avengers Tower, so it is, and Rivendell, so it is. So we have the final Rivendell against the Avengers Tower. And for me, the Avengers Tower is the best set in this case, but you decided to take Rivendell. So year set of the day uh, of the year 2023 is Rivendell, Lord of the Rings. Congratulations to this really, really great set. It was really funny to go through this complete Holds. It made really fun for me. I hopefully you enjoyed this special video. I wish you still great holidays, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we hopefully see us for the next video. Bye bye.